Hello guys. In today's video we are going to show you the process behind the rug for Adidas. First, we project the motif onto the base fabric using the overhead projector. We use a premium polyester cloth because it is elastic. It doesn't tear and the rug itself gets very durable. Our tufter already draw the shape and now there comes the logo itself that is placed at the edge. The logo is on transparent paper and attached afterwards on the cloth. Before he starts, he oils the tufting gun. Maintenance is important guys. Now we start with the outer line first. This rug is going to be made of 100% New Zealand wool. And we have attached to threads to the machine. New Zealand wool is pretty much the best and most durable material you can possibly use for rugs. The pile height of the rug is 12 mm high and the size will be 200 by 268 cm. We have our own yarn that is made for us and the color is very special because we needed to dye it exactly to the corporate color of Adidas. After he made the outer line, he uses our tool that we call the Ruggler to shape the form like it should be. In the video description you'll find the link to learn how to make your own one with a fork. Now we fill out the inner part, line per line and from left to right. Between every line we count four lines to put in the next thread, this depends on the structure and pile height. The logo gets a lighter blue and is difficult to tuft because it's very small. You can compare it to a tattoo artist that has to make a detailed tattoo on a small place. As you can see, the structure at the logo is different. In situations like this you can make the lines how it works the best. After struggling with the logo we can go on with the meditative part. Our tufters always listen to their favorite music or podcasts. This way they can concentrate better to their work and let's be honest, it makes more fun. Look how consistent and straight the lines are. This is very important when you want to make a tufted rug with an even structure on the other side. The chain that is attached to the machine is on a spring balancer. It helps to tuft straight and also to relieve the arms. You can find all our materials and tools we use, including our recommendations on our book materials and tools for tufting. You'll find it on tuftingtutorials.com or use the link in the description. Use the code CRAMIS10 to get 10% discount. Now let's go back to business. After finishing the blue part we start with the next part down below. We always tuft the shape first, so we have a point of reference to start on the left and finish at the right. This is the most efficient way to fill out the empty space perfectly. Here the textile designer of this rug visits us for quality control. She received the order directly from Adidas and decided to work with us. On the dark part we even use three threads. So the rug gets thicker and we are able to carve the lines better in the end. Now it's her turn to try handling the tufting gun. These are heartwarming moments we'll never forget. Most of the people think it's easier than it looks. Always funny to see their first touch with tufting. There we go. Now, let's fill out the rest of the empty spaces. After gluing the back and drying overnight, we already started to carve the lines between the colors, so it gets three-dimensional. That's the part where you can ruin the most, so you need much patience and a steady hand. We don't share this rug because the designer wanted to keep the structure like this, so we can move on with vacuuming the rug. This rug costs about $6,000 and took us three full working days to make. Do you like videos like this? Please leave a like and let us know in the comments if we should keep going with this format. If you want to master the craft of tufting, you should definitely check out our rug making course on tuftingtutorials.com where you also get a certificate as a professional tufter. Use the code CRAMIS10 to get 10% discount. Thanks for watching and see you on the next project.